um, this game is all about like what's in your bag of tricks. So the more tricks you have in your bag, then like the better chance you have you winning, and like uh, the more potential um, of your units you can uh, unleash. Um, so uh, he he managed to possess a Kodo in there, which is going to help give his units the beneficial aura of the Kodo. So basically, it's a it's trading a banshee for um, for a more expensive unit, which gives you an aura. It's just two more food, and um, gives you the ability to eat another unit. So it's a, it's a two for one deal, pretty much. And it also stops them from having a Kodo, which could eat one of your units. So really, it's a four for one deal or something like that. Um, so thanks to effective beetle scouting, um, he knew that um, Lin had just crept that camp, and he was able to force a fight right here. Um, the orc tries to speed scroll in, countered by a simple um, impale. Um, then he has the uh, Crypt Lord's aura, so I mean the Crypt Lord's ultimate, sorry, which um, which allows him to uh, to deal out a lot of damage and take a lot of damage because uh, his like at this point the undead army has completely uh, overpowered the orc army just because like uh, those walkers do not have enough mana to uh, dispel all all the curse and um, to get more walkers um, would mean less of the other units and um, walkers are easily countered by fiends <clears throat> so um, it's a very it's a very difficult strategy for the orc to, to deal with when executed properly because um, of, there's so many things that are screwing the orc up that uh, it's hard for them to deal with all that. Um, so yeah, effective scouting with the beetles. He noticed that Lin was trying to expand there again, so he sent them to go kill the peon at the uh, the gold mine at the four o'clock position. Um, Lin tries to go for the easy death knight kill. Um, luckily, he um, crafty anticipated this, and he had a um, potion of invulnerability, and uh, he he threw uh, anti magics shell on it, on it too. That's a nice thing to, to do on uh, the Death Knight especially because he is so easily focused. Um, a perfect position for the uh, Crypt Lord to impale should he get any more mana. And uh, he had he made sure his Kodo um, devoured a grunt. And um, I mean uh, again Crafty came out far ahead. Now he's 20 food in, uh, in the plus to uh, Lin's 50 food. So again, um, the difference between like an 80 food army and a, f a 50 food army would just be you you want to scale things up a little bit. So you want to add like two more fiends, so you have like nine fiends. Um, two more banshees, so you have like four banshees, and like maybe three have three statues instead of two statues. Um, there's not much more you could build. I guess if you were at tier three, you could get a, a frostworm or a or a pit lord, which would be really nice. Um, yeah, so so Crafty's expanding again to seal the deal, and uh, he's constantly scouting. I can't remember how many games I've lost in the last few days to not scouting an expansion, even after beating his army like three times. So that's a really important thing to do, and um, having the beetles, um, you really should utilize them to their full power. When they when the orc has dispel, the beetles are only useful really for for scouting. So you want to use them for scouting purposes, of course. <clears throat> Because um, you can leave them burrowed at the expansions, and uh, they can kill, they can kill uh, peons very easily. Um, so it was really nice that uh, Crafty left that um, skull of blight there, so he can expand there whenever he wants. Because I think that's what he's going to go do right now. And uh, it's pretty much a good game. I mean, uh, he, Crafty's ultimate goes off again. Um, everything is cursed again. Uh, the statues are healing everything. The Death Knight's healing the, the Crypt Lord, which uh, Lin's desperately trying to focus, which is a bad idea because the Crypt Lord is the hardest thing to focus in the whole army. Um, the, uh, the fiends are fiends are kind of split into two groups, focusing things, uh, focusing first like uh, the Kodos and then the Raiders and the, and the Walkers, and then finally the Grunts and uh, the headhunters, they don't really matter. They, they don't put out as much damage or 
have as many bad abilities for you as the latter, the aforementioned units. <laughs> and, it's, and it's a good game, and it was a good game, because it really showed the, uh, the strengths of the strategy and um, how Undead don't have to play the, uh, the aggressive game. They can play in a very dominating playstyle like this, where you creep a lot, you get your, your very strong tier 2 army, you expand, you go to tier 3, and you get your tier 3 goodies. So yeah, just a, a brief synopsis of what happened in the game. Um, he did a little bit different build order, so he didn't build the shop really and got three ghouls. So let him had a faster attack, to get to tier two faster, where all your uh, where your where your real strength is going to be. Um, then uh, he he uh, crept a lot in the early game, um, not too far from his base because the orc was always trying to harass. He got the Nerubian tower to to prevent the harass. Then at tier two, he set up a, a shop, got the Death Knight, set up the slaughterhouse and the Temple of the Damned. Um, he set up the expansion, um, then he, uh, he made sure he was scouting the orcs expansion so he knew where to force the fight and try and cancel the expansion with beetles, which Lin effectively, effectively countered to his merit. So, um, um, and then, then you want to go to tier three and get your game breaker things, which, um, Crafty was unfortunately unable to get, but, um, he still, he still had a very strong army and he was able to beat Lin. And, um, yeah, so just, just creep a lot and then, uh, and try and judge how large his army is. And when you can match that, force a fight at his expansion and hopefully take it down. Um, so that's, that's my, uh, that's it on the, the Crypt Lord. Now I just, uh, want to give some shout outs. Um, I want to give a shout out to my clan, Clan Sexy on, on Azeroth and, uh, I guess the clan... Clan sexy leader, who's the uh, who's the sexy leader, uh, Blink, and uh, shout out to Orange, I guess, who's also part of that clan. So it's a pretty cool clan if you want to stop by. Um, uh, it was just recently formed, but uh, well, we had some good times, I guess. So <laughs> um, if you want to meet some WCR staff members or something, uh, also I want to shout out to uh, Bob Marley and uh, Destroyer. Um, I didn't get a chance to thank him for all his uh, winning endorsements of me in his second last audio commentary, so here it is, the thanks. Um, that's about it. Uh, my next audio commentary, hopefully, me and Destroyer, we can put together uh, a dual audio commentary on, on, on Undead. Probably one of us doing Fiends and one doing Ghouls or something like that, so that would be pretty cool if we could get that together. Also, guys, feel free to send me PMs or replays or funny stuff or whatever, because as I'm one of the lesser-known audio commentators, it has a greater chance of appearing in an audio commentary or whatever. So um, that's a that's not a compelling argument. I don't know what is. So uh, that's it for today, kids.